Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to make objects float in After Effects. And this is a kind of floating animation that you would use if something was in the water. So here I am inside of After Effects and I've kind of pre-created this sky and rolling water look with this uh, object sort of floating in the middle. So if we kind of scrub through the timeline, you can see the water animating, but the cube isn't moving. And this is really only effective if it's a pier or something like that that's really anchored into the ground. We want something that's kind of sitting on or in the water and it's kind of floating back and forth as the water pushes it around. So the first thing to do is if we click on the red solid down here, you notice that the anchor point is kind of not in the middle and we really need it in the middle for this animation to be effective. So let's double click on the square and it opens it up in its own little window and we can actually drag that anchor point right to the middle. So let's close that again, come back to our composition and you'll notice now the square is kind of floating in the air. And that's because the way After Effects handles the anchor point is it moves the sort of the rest of the layer to the anchor point rather than the anchor point itself. The anchor point is where the position is and the whole layer is kind of just in relative to the anchor point. So it's kind of a backwards way of thinking about it, but that's how it handles it. So we're going to drag that back down into the water where it belongs. And we're going to, with it selected, press P and push the little stopwatch next to it. The first thing that we're going to do is analyze how the water is going up and down and kind of match that up and down motion with the cube. So it's kind of got a little crest on here, so it's kind of in the upper part of the wave. And as we begin to scrub through, notice it starts to dip a little bit and kind of hits a, a low point right about here. So let's move that down. And it's going to get pushed back up to uh, just about the midpoint of the wave there. So we'll come back up a little bit. So as we go through it, you can kind of see it, it's really a kind of a stiff motion. However, if we lasso select these keyframes and right click on them and go keyframe assistant, easy ease, and now we scrub through it, it looks a lot more like the cube is just floating freely in the water reacting to it. Easy ease kind of accelerates and decelerates animation as it gets close to keyframes. So it's a really nice smooth transition or with organic animation like this. Next thing we're going to do is animate the rotation. So as the waves are kind of coming into the sides and going back out to the sides, it's going to rock back and forth as it's going up and down. So with it selected, we're going to push R, come back to the beginning of the animation, and push the stopwatch. Now it's kind of tilting a little bit to the left as you look at the angle of that wave. So let's rotate it a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. Then we're going to scroll through. You see it kind of holds that till right about here. So let's kind of move it back just a little bit, keep it tilted. And as that next wave hits it, it's going to rotate out this way, out to the right. So again, we'll move that keyframe to the end so it continues motion toward the end of the animation. Select all the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And now if we look at the motion that we've got here, it's a very kind of natural bobbing look as the, as the cube reacts to the waves hitting it and splashing off of it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to create floating objects in Adobe After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.